hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel so i will be doing the holiday review drinks letting you guys know what holiday drinks are good but first so i want to let you guys know that this saturday november 20th me and my sister are going to be hosting a meet and greet so the meet and greet is with the purpose of getting toys donations and and blankets scarves socks and all that stuff for hygiene because we want to create packages and give them out to the homeless from 1 to 4 p.m i will leave the address down below but also right here it's going to be at the church at my church that i go to which is called day spring church it will be in the city of north hills here in the san fernando valley so if you guys are local or if you guys are willing to make the drive we will be there it will be a meet and greet my sister will be there and some other special people will be there so i really hope you guys can come and join us it's for a really good cause um we want to give back to our community we want to give back to the people that have been affected by covid or by other unfortunate circumstances so we really um Hope to see a lot of you guys there and hope that you guys are able to make it and bring unwrapped toys. We are also going to be having some vendors selling foods and snacks. So please, please bring cash so you guys are able to purchase some yummy treats and stuff. All that money that they will be collecting for that day will be going back to charity, going back to buying more toys and stuff like that. So for us to meet you guys and support us in this um, amazing thing that we are trying to do, but we can't do it without the help of you guys. So please come out and support and it's gonna be good. It's gonna be fun and I cannot wait to meet you guys, all of you guys. So let me know in the comments if you're gonna make it and yeah it's from 1 to 4 p.m let's get into the video i'll show you guys some yummy today drinks. we are starting like a new series like a little thing i'm going to be trying all the recommended holiday starbucks drinks that you guys tell me and i'm gonna be trying them so you don't have to so i'm gonna let you guys know if it's worth it if it's not go buy it yes no you guys know that I will put you on something good. Yo va a recomendar algo muy bueno, delicioso y todo eso. But in order for me to recommend something good, I gotta try them first, obviously. So me voy a sacrificar yo por cinco días, and I'm gonna try a bunch of different drinks and let you guys know which one. But first, let me give my toddler his cake pop so I can talk. We got him the reindeer cake pop. <laughs> Say, what do you say? You're welcome. So I already went to the drive through this morning. What we got, maybe I already messed up by getting a venti, but I know I like white mocha, so I was like, okay, you know, I'm just gonna get a venti because whatever. I know I like white mocha, but the toasted white mocha is a holiday one, so eso es lo diferente de ahorita. It's toasted white mocha is part of their holiday seasonal drink, so I got that. I got a white mocha, a toasted white mocha with um, co coconut milk and sweet cream cold foam. And it is right here. And they have the little um, sprinkles on the top. So let, let us try it out and see how it is. Try it without a straw because it does have that sweet cream cold foam. So let's try it. Let me shake it a little bit. Where is the store yet? Yeah, the store. We already went to the store. We just came from Sands Club. And I ran into one of you guys, one of my subscribers. And it always catches me off guard when one of you guys come up. It's not that I don't like it. I love it when you guys come and say hi. It just like catches me by surprise because I don't I don't feel like I'm anybody, you know. So <laughs> it does catch me by surprise. But thank you for saying hi. So let's try it out. pretty good i usually never get coconut milk i only get coconut milk when i get the pink drink or the dragon drink but um it's pretty good i think let me try it one more time and i'll give you my my honest rating
Okay. I will give this a 8 out of 10. It's good. I would probably get it again. The only thing I would probably change is the milk. I'm not... I do like coconut milk, but I feel like the coconut milk hace como que la bebida se siente más watery. It takes away from that creamy, milky flavor. So if I get this again, which I probably will, I would probably do oat milk or I would probably do soy milk. Soy milk and oat milk give it that more of that rich, milky flavor. Now we're going to pick up sister. Oh, I think this, this passes. Why? 8 out of 10 is a good yeah. in my book. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another review. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to day 2 of trying holiday Starbucks drinks. And let you guys know if they're good or not. So you guys don't have to try them and spend your money. I'm going to put you guys on the good ones. You guys can try a lot of different ones. Than just the ones that they have... Um, at the store i'm very intrigued and the one i really want to try and i have not tried yet is a sugar cookie one which is new this year i think last year they had eggnog and other stuff but this year it is their sugar cookie and i still haven't tried it but the next one's gonna be a sugar cookie one i'm making it in the middle that way if i really like it i don't want to be hooked on right away because i still have a couple more so after today is three more days of me to try que sacrificio verdad just ordered my drink Waiting for our drink. Look how cute these masks are. We just went and I have my drink right here. Oh, oops, I almost spilled the whole thing. Ah. Okay, this is my drink. It looks pretty cute. I rate it from the looks like a <laughs> 9 out of 10. It's not all about looks. That's true. So this is a, a grande ice latte with brown sugar syrup and um sweet cream cold foam but they added um chestnut perline perline i don't even think i'm saying that right in the foam only so in the foam only has that chestnutty flavor so that, let's try it so if you guys don't know they can add any flavor to the cold foam so before you guys know last month we were doing the pumpkin cream cold foam so they can pretty much do any flavor you want if you want sugar cookie cold foam which is what we're going to be trying tomorrow you could do that if you want um i don't know what you guys like but anyways let's try it i'm excited ah cheers you got a mustache <laughs> how does it taste uh, this is good this is good. This is better than yesterday's actually. This is more like the white mocha. I do like white mocha, but I'm not a big fan of chocolate. So it was like. So I think this one. Gives me more of a Christmas feel. You want to try it? Yes, please. <laughs> you good? <laughs> it's just I give it like a seven. It's actually I good. give it I it's would say good. this was something I would probably for sure get again. It's pretty good. This is good. Si pasa, si pasa. I'm about to send it to my sister right now. So she knows what's up. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for a another Starbucks holiday review. Okay. Starbucks. We're actually at Target, little Target run, and I have to get this girl something too. Starbucks is getting more expensive. Day three. Let's see what we got. We are outside waiting for Joseph. He went to get a haircut with Noah, so we're just sitting here. But look how delicious this looks. Okay, this one looks like it's probably gonna be my drink, my go-to drink. It reminds me of the fall drink with three blonde shots over ice in a venti cup one pump of toasted white mocha one pump of sugar cookie a splash of oat milk and vanilla sweet cream cold foam but with sugar cookie syrups it sounds very complicated again but the more complicated is more customized to me i guess and it's more like um built 
So let's try it out and see. It already looks so good. So ready? Cheers! Oh my gosh. Okay, I think this is it. Wow. First impression, 10 out of 10. This is my favorite drink. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Oh my God. I'm actually so shook. Okay, for sure. I don't even want to go to day four and five because I just want to keep ordering this one. Creo que este es. This is going to be my holiday drink. It sounds complicated to order and I don't think you could order um, this one in the app because you cannot um, customize cold foams on the app. So that's the only thing I don't think you're able to order it on the app, but wow, this is so good. We think, I think we found it, we found it. I'm still gonna try two more drinks just in case, but I don't think I need to anymore. Honestly, this is, this is it. This is, this is the end. it. This here is Christmas in a cup for me. It's just not too sweet, not too bitter, the right amount of coffee. Like I know three blonde shots are gonna wake me up and it tastes sweet, a lot of ice. It's just, it's just perfect for me. She loves it, like I love this. Right. Okay, so I'll still see you guys for day four and five. We got two more days to try drinks, but honestly, Go and try this one for Don't sure. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That too. <laughs> guys, welcome back. We are in day four. Day four of trying Starbucks drinks, holiday drinks. So I will tell you if they're good or if they're guys bad. could have new drinks to try because I don't know about you, but I do get tired of sometimes the same drinks or sometimes the holiday drinks that Starbucks comes out with aren't always so great and you don't want to spend the money and it be nasty so I'm going to put you guys on some good drinks that you guys know tomorrow will be the final day and I will tell you out of all of them which one you should definitely try so let's go here it is little sprinkles on the top Okay, here we have our drink. So today I ordered it on the mobile app because I wanted to see a lot of you guys um, order on the mobile app and I wanted to order it so that you guys can know how to order it if it is good. But let me try it first and I'll tell you guys what it is and how to order it. I only paid $2.86 for this grande drink. So let's try it out. It's good. It's good, it's just the sprinkles. Don't put sprinkles, cause I'm like choking on the sprinkles, but this is good. It is a strong, okay? So if you don't like a lot of caffeine, do less shots. So do one shot, two shots. I did three. So the order is three blonde shots of espresso over ice in a grande cup. You're gonna add a splash of oat milk and four pumps of the sugar cookie syrup. So it's similar to the one I tried yesterday with the, but it was a venti, but that one has more foam and less milk. So it's more like foamy, more creamy, and it does taste like coffee, but it doesn't taste as strong. So if you like stronger coffee and you want it more of like an iced coffee like this without like the foam and all that stuff, this one is good. This is also super good. This is something I would probably get again. Um, and it tastes, it has that sugar cookie taste to it. It still tastes like holiday. Just don't do the sprinkles. I messed up by doing sprinkles because they're like little balls and I'm like choking on them, but. Si pasa. I would give this an 8.5 out of 10. So this is good. And I was only 
86 so the total price was like three something which is still super cheap for being a starbucks drink but i had like you know their rewards or their stars mm. and i used 25 stars because i guess for the customized milk so it discounted that like that was like 75 cents i'm not sure but it came out to be after i took off the reward stars it came out to be two dollars and 86 cents which is for starbucks that is a steal that is a, literally a steal so if you don't want to be spending a lot of money you want something strong and good this is this is it this is the drink for you okay like i said you can always do less shots of espresso so so no quieren tanto café. If you don't want it to be so strong, do two shots or one shot. The less shots you add, also it's less money. So yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the last review. Hey guys, welcome to the last day. Today is day five. We came to the last day of our reviews. I wish I could do more, but it does get expensive. I usually don't drink starbucks five days in a row i do drink coffee every day but not starbucks every day porque si sale caro so today i'm gonna end it with a classic something on the menu something um that i get if i'm not trying to do anything like um complicated or if i have somebody doing a starbucks run for me um i keep it simple and i just get this so I actually did want to end it also with a hot drink because I know um, it is getting colder and stuff. So I wanted to do a hot drink. And this is my go-to hot drink for the holidays. It's their classic caramel brulee latte. It is it is expensive. This grande was $5.40 something. I was like, I didn't even add or customize it. It's just like what it is there's nothing even special all my other drinks were not that expensive even when i did the three shots over eyes with all that other stuff it still came out to the same price as this and it was like a venti so anyways this is my go-to um holiday hot drink it's a caramel brulee latte it is super good it's caramelly it's sweet it has two shots of espresso and it's but you could customize the milk. I just leave it how it is because I don't mind whole milk here and there. And this I did order on the app so I didn't have to get off because the line right now is ridiculous. It is 7.30 in the morning so people are trying to get their morning fix like me. Just how I expected it. So this is like not a hit or miss. Like you already know what you're going to expect with this one. It's... It tastes like kind of like a caramel latte if you ever had one, but better. Classic holiday drink and I love it. If you guys haven't tried the caramel brulee, that's probably the one I would recommend from their holiday um, their holiday list this year. Also the chestnut par perline perline. I don't know how to say it. I can't believe it's already been five days, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I, I could recommend any of the drinks that I tried. It would probably be day three with the three blonde shots over eyes. That one is, mm, that one was so good. Honestly, all of them were good. I really did enjoy all of them. Um, if I could rate them, I'd probably do that one number one. Number two would be the one I had yesterday, which was um, the sugar cookie with the three shots over ice as well. That one is strong and not too sweet. This one is good too. It's uh, hot. It's sweet. It's good. It has um, coffee. And I'm sorry if you don't drink coffee. I didn't do any that don't have caffeine. But you can always adjust them. You could do decaf coffee. You can do less shots of espresso. I just, I love coffee. So I wasn't going to do something that's not coffee. Because it's something that I'm not going to enjoy, honestly. And it's not worth my money. Um, I rarely ever get something that doesn't have caffeine. If I do, it'll be probably a pink drink or a matcha. 
So yeah, sorry that I didn't do anything, but I know that there is a lot of good drinks that don't have caffeine. You just gotta find the people that don't drink coffee and that's not me. So I hope you guys enjoy these type of videos and I hope to do more like these in the future for like another season, maybe um, spring or something. So let me know if you try any um, tag me on instagram if you do get any of these drinks and also in the comments let me know which one you're willing to try or you're curious about trying so i really hope you guys did enjoy this video like i did i enjoyed going to starbucks every day five days in a row it was a perfect excuse to tell my husband that i have to film for you guys i need to create content i have to go to starbucks so he was like okay but I really did enjoy it, guys. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Okay, bye.